my name is Kevin Fernandez and welcome to my channel Gamers Genie. Today I'm going to count down my top 10 favorite voice actors. Yes, that's right. This is the month of May, which means that it is my birth month. Um, and so as is tradition for our, our the months that we were born in, uh, Jordan and I will pick a special kind of top 10s list uh, where it's based around something that we like outside of board games and everything like that. So you can get to know us a little bit better. So I chose voice actors because um, Number one, if you've seen my top 10 favorite Studio Ghibli films, you know I love animation. Voice actors really do, uh, uh, really do help the characters come alive and really get you uh, feeling like, hey, this, this sounds like um, that character that I grew up with as a kid. Um, now, I'm gonna, now, there are a couple rules. So, um, first of all, time is not a limitation so if this was a voice actor from the a long time ago in the past um they can be included on this list the major rule is i need to have seen a couple things that they've been in so i can actually get an idea on uh how these characters um are but another thing is unfortunately i'm trying not to include voice actors who use their natural voice so like say sterling holloway or chris pratt um, you know, these are people who are cast because of their natural voice. Uh, these are people that people want to hear their natural voice, so none of these people will show up. There might be a couple here and there that use their natural voice, but unfortunately, but that will be just, um, that's just, uh, like an accident. These are mostly, ca so that'll mostly just be like maybe an exception to the rule, but I, I want mostly care people who have voiced characters that are very different. So, unfortunately... I'm going to say this as a um, as an honorable mention. I did include a, an actor who did have who did use their natural voice to voice a lot of the characters that they voiced. Cree Summers. Uh, Cree Summers is a very talented voice actress. She voiced Penny from in the old Inspector Gadget cartoons. She was Susie Carmichael from the Rugrats, and of course, a lot of Disney fans might know her as Princess Kida from Atlantis: The Lost Empire. She is a very she is a true talent, um, and she does have a very unique and natural voice, and she does, and she use that, uses that natural voice to her talent, to her benefit. Uh, however, since she does speak with her natural voice, I cannot include her on this list. But, um, she, she is a great voice actress, and she has voiced a lot of characters that I have loved when I was a kid. Uh, she basically voiced my childhood, so with that out of the way, Let's count down. Okay, so number 10 is Kevin Michael Richardson. Uh, Kevin Michael Richardson, uh, you might not have heard of this name uh, multiple times. The two things that I think you would have known him from is Lilo and Stitch, like in general. He is Captain Gantu. That is his most famous role for that, but he's also voiced characters like uh, Cobra Bubbles and stuff when like Ving, Ving Rhames couldn't voice the character. He he is a very big talent. Plus, I want to point this out, he is a very underrated Joker voice. He voiced the Joker in the uh, series after Batman, Batman the Animated Series and Batman Beyond, which is, of course, the Batman. Um, so he, I think he did a great job voicing the Joker, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to give this um, guy, a shout out. He does voice a lot of characters. I'm, uh, so if, and, and, uh, I think they all should get a good shout out, but I'm mostly going to do the ones that are, uh, very famous so that way you guys can connect a little more better. But yeah, number 10 is Kevin Michael Richardson. Okay, so number nine is Trex McNeil. Tress McNeil is a, she's voiced a lot of Simpsons characters. Uh, one of her major parts is uh, Seymour Skinner's mother, always talking about how much of a disappointment. But she also voiced characters like Dot from the Animaniacs. She also voiced Dot in the the revival on Hulu as well. She was the voice of um, Babs Bunny from Tiny Toons Adventures. Um, she had. Uh, she has a lot of range. Um, she, she doesn't always like um, 
voiced like the same character. I also, basically anything Matt Groening's done, she has been in it. She's been in Futurama, she's been in, uh, you know, of course, uh, Disenchantment. Um, anything Groening's been involved in, she has done. Uh, Tress McNeil, very talented actress. Um, yeah, you know, hopefully I'll know how <laughs> to end these things. It's a lot easier when you're talking about board games. It's harder when you're talking about people. Um, you know, one of my favorite things, I didn't even know that Tress McNeil was like the voice of my childhood until I found out she was Dot Warner uh, and Babs Bunny. I used to watch Animaniacs and Tiny Toons so much. Um, just like Kevin, you know, I, I watched Lilo and Stitch like a ton. So, you know, these are people who definitely have made an impact in that and you know it just goes to show you when you're when you're really good at making these characters voices um, it is definitely something that can that really holds uh, on to you but yeah number nine Tress McNeil Okay, so number eight is Richard Horvitz, and I'm going to use my phone uh, to list some of the things that they've been in, um, so that that uh, the actors have been in, so that way I'm not just racking my brain. So Richard, um, the earliest thing I ever saw him in was The Angry Beaver Show. Uh, he voiced Daggett, uh, Daggett Beaver. Uh, he's the one who called everybody a spooty head. Um, he voiced uh, Billy from the Billy Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. But I think a lot of people who are Nickelodeon fans especially would remember him from is he is Invader Zim! Uh, from the Invader Zim, from the show Invader Zim. That was a great show. And I liked the movie too. That was really funny. Um, I think that was like a lot of kids' introduction to dark humor. That's one of the reasons why I put uh, Richard on the list is because that was like a lot of kids introduction to of course dark humor um, you know where it wasn't afraid to go kind of gross out a lot kind of gory um, there was some really messed up stuff that happened in Invader Zim um, but uh, Billy and Mandy got a little dark but not too dark at all it always twisted back to like goofy stupid stuff but Zim was like dark dark um, it, you know, it just, he, and for some reason, even though it's really dark, his delivery is so good, it makes me laugh every single time, um, and I just had to include him on this list, so that's why number eight is Richard Horvitz. Okay, so number seven, I don't need my phone to actually look up um, what they've been in, because I know I got it memorized. Number seven is John DiMaggio. Um, John DiMaggio, I'm going to start with the stuff that he did when I was a kid, and I'm going to move up to the stuff when I was an adult. And you're going to be shocked, it, you might be shocked on one of the things I watched when I was a kid. So the two main things when I was a kid that John did was um, ooh, uh, Chowder. <laughs> Chowder, he was Mung Dahl. Oh no, sorry, he was uh, not Mung Dahl, he was... Uh, Schnitzel, um, but yeah, Schnitzel, whatever. He's not that. He's not that important. The most important character he voiced when I was a child was Doctor Draken from Kim Possible. Um, he was hilarious in that show, and um, you know another thing that you know also he voiced that really made my childhood funny enough was Bender Bending Rodriguez. Um, <laughs> it's so weird how I say well because. Okay, let me, ex so I can explain. So back in the 90s, um, you know, they did, uh, I believe it was Fox. So it was either Fox or it was, nope, it was ABC, it was ABC's One Saturday Morning, um, where they did the ABC's uh, Kids, and they'd play all these Saturday morning cartoons, and then like right after, like the most boring thing you can think of, it goes into People's Court or Futurama. But either way, it would be Futurama would come in there eventually. So I would always watch Futurama. Um, it was a rerun because 
Um, I think this was the time when they were with Fox. I don't know. They've been with a lot of networks. They're now with Hulu. But uh, I would always watch Futurama with my brother. We, we'd laugh like crazy. Um, with, the, with the jokes in that, we thought it was hilarious. Um, Bender was one of our favorite characters, of course. And I think they even did make a joke about that, how kids watch like Futurama and they start imitating Bender. Because for some reason they're drawn to that. Well, because Bender was the goofiest character on the show. Um, but, uh, you know, John, uh, one of the favorites that a lot of kids probably like that John voiced was, of course, Jake the Dog from Adventure Time. Uh, very funny character. Uh, I, liked, I liked some of the jokes like, uh, this is my bread, Finn, this is my bread and butter. You, don't, you can't go touching my bread and butter. <laughs> Um, he, I know that John does do some variations of his voice, um, but he does differentiate his voice, like, you know, I didn't know he was schnitzel, uh, in, uh, in Chowder, I didn't know he was, um, honestly, I didn't know he was Dr. Draken, that was weird, that was the weirdest one for me, uh, then I found out he was Dr. Draken, and then my wife found that out, yeah, that really, that really traumatized her a bit, um, but, uh, yeah, he is, uh, really funny. Oddly enough, I think he's been in some stuff in, like, just live-action movies, but I never recognize him. Just like another guy who, who's on this list. Uh, he's a little more higher up. But, yeah, number seven is John DiMaggio. Okay, so, number six is Rob Paulson. Uh, Rob is a very talented voice actor. Uh, just like Tress, he was also in the Animaniacs, except he voiced more than one character. He voiced Yakko Warner, um, the oldest sibling of the Warner siblings, and he also voiced Pinky from Pinky and the Brain. Um, he was also Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron. He was, um, okay, so they, I can't remember the dentist's name from the Fairly Odd Parents, but if you guys remember, there was an evil dentist who, um, like, he liked ripping people's teeth out and everything like that, but he also had an ego behind him. Like, he believed he had perfect te He and his son, Wendell, had perfect teeth. And, like, nobody else had as perfect a teeth as him. So, originally, he was voiced by Gilbert Gottfried, another guy who was a very, who was a very fun guy in voice acting roles. But, again, can't be on this list because that's his natural-ish voice. It's complicated. Um, but, so, I believe one day Godfrey couldn't voice the character anymore, so then Rob actually voiced the character moving forward, so that, so some of the later episodes with that character, that's Rob Paulson voicing the character, it's, you hardly notice the difference, um, so he, he's really good, um, he, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up some other stuff, uh, instead of just listing off the most famous stuff. Let's see. Okay, so other than Yakko, Pinky, and the others, um, yeah, of course he was, actually he was Raphael in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then later on he voices Donatello. That actually was very interesting. So he was a, he was in the Ninja Turtles, like, several times. Um, Rob was also, I'm only gonna name, like, a couple of famous things here and there. Um, do, 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 do. This list is very anticlimactic. <laughs> uh, he did some stuff in uh, Rick and Morty. I haven't seen all of Rick and Morty, so I, I wouldn't be able to, like, actually go into detail about that. <laughs> he was in that Disney Planes movie. He was in Ben 10. Yeah, so he did, he did a lot of different things. Rob, Rob's a, one of my, definitely one of my favorite uh, voice actors. He's been one of my favorite voice actors uh, since I was a kid. Uh, natural. Um, it's natural because he voiced a lot of characters I, you know, watched when I was a kid. So, yeah. <laughs> Number six is Rob Paulson. Okay, so number five is Eric, uh, and I do apologize if I butchered the last name, Bowza. 
But um, ooh, this is great, pretty cool. So Eric is kind of a relatively young voice actor, and he he has a pretty like he's done like 367 projects for um for how he's been in there. But he he's voiced some characters in some stuff in uh in some stuff that's very recognizable. Uh, he was in the latest X Men '97 series as a lot of the Sentinels as well as Master Mold. So that was pretty cool because, I mean, it honestly sounded like the original voice actor. Uh, he, I mean, of course, he's he's Buster Bunny in the new Tiny Toons, the Luniversity, as well as several other characters, but I don't want to kind of get into that because I kind of want to talk to that about that later. Oh, he's uh, Big Bob and Jimmy Pesto from Bob's Burgers. Very funny show. And, of course, um, the last one I kind of want to mention is he's basically the Looney Tunes Um uh, he voices, like, pretty much the entire Looney Tunes cast, which I think is, uh, very impressive, um, considering that there's only one person who's ever done, really done that in this, kind of, um, but, uh, you know, the fact that Eric is able to, you know, do a really good imitation of, because that's what it is for, for the Looney Tunes, I'm sorry, but yes, it's an imit, it's, it's kind of an imitation, but he puts his own spin on the character, so you do know, you can tell the different generations apart. But, um, yeah, Looney Tunes is by far probably the thing that I, um, I liked him in the most. So, um, yeah, and it's, it's crazy how all the stuff that I've actually, oh yeah, I forgot, he was also in, uh, Shaolin Showdown. That was a cartoon I used to watch a lot when I was a kid. Crazy. Um, but yeah, he, he is, he's in a lot of stuff, even Gravity Falls. Come on, Gravity Falls. It's a great, it's a great show. It was a great show. It's a great show. Um, but yeah, so number five is Eric Bowser. Okay, so number four is Phil Lamar. Um... I really don't know why I'm I'm looking up some of his credits. I'm trying to find some modern stuff because I'm really going to talk about some 90s, early 2000s stuff. So the thing I know, of course, a lot of people from 90s and early 2000s will know him as is, of course, Jon Stewart, the Green Lantern from uh, Justice League as well as Justice League Unlimited and, of course, um, the animated uh, Superman, the animated series, as well as Static Shock. Um... And he's also Samurai Jack. Um, he was also in Bob's Burgers. Wow, a lot of people are in Bob's Burgers. And um, I want to point this out. Randomly, he's also in Spider-Man 2. Like, the Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man 2. Uh, there's a scene where uh, the mask c comes off and he saves a bunch of people on, on a train. And... Uh, he was one of the people that was on the train that Spider-Man saved. Um, very randomly. It was probably one of the coolest moments of my life to see, uh, like, Samurai Jack, Green Lantern, <laughs> just on the train. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that, that, is, uh, that is probably one of the best things I've ever seen him in. Um, well, aside from Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack was awesome. Um... He also did several Disney films, um, as well, several Disney shows, like Star vs. the Forces of Evil, but yeah, definitely number four, Phil Lamar. Okay, for the rest of this list, I'm going to look at you guys. <laughs> I really don't know why I looked that one up. That, that actor I should know a lot, but num my number three is Tara Strong. Tara Strong has voiced Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls, Raven from Teen Titans, as well as Teen Titans Go, but we don't like talking about that show. We're going to talk about the normal Teen Titans, where they actually cared about character development and stuff. Um, she voiced Timmy Turner from The Fairly Odd Parents. She voiced uh, Ben Tennyson from Ben 10. Um, Dill Pickles. From the Rugrats. Um, Tara, oh, she was also in Chowder. She was the voice of um, Mung Dahl's wife, which right now is eluding my brain 
because of the heat. It is actually very, very hot uh, where I am right now. Um, unless, you know, not like... It's getting hotter <laughs> where I am, and so it's kind of hard to... Uh, truffles. <laughs> Woo! Um, I should have remembered the mushroom. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Terra Strong, I think, is a lot of uh, people, especially people who grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, uh, favorite voice actor. She voiced, like, so many characters um, from people's childhood, um, mostly boys. <laughs> she voiced a lot of little boys. Um, but, whatever. And, but, you know, I, I mean, who hasn't seen the Powerpuff Girl, the, the real Powerpuff Girls, the, the one from, like, the 90s by Craig McCracken, uh, not that reboot, Teen Titans Go clone. Um, but, yeah, she was, she was the original voice of Bubbles, um, Tara's, uh, she's done some fantastic work. Uh, of course, Bubbles and Raven are her two most famous characters. I do not know how she managed to pull off. See, I, see, when I first found out that Tara Strong was in Teen Titans, this was a long time ago, I thought she was voicing Starfire. I did not know she was Raven. I'm like, huh. Kind of feel like it should be, she would be that character. Because I just thought Bubbles. Bubbles is very positive. She's ve she's very smiley. She's very joyful. She's very much like Starfire. So, I mean, the fact that Raven, the exact opposite of Starfire, of uh, Bubbles, <laughs> is voiced by the same person. And it was shocking. But, yeah, um, definitely one of my favorites. So, number three is Tara Strong. Okay, so number two is someone who is a very talented voice actor, super, super talented. It's Jim Cummings. Jim Cummings is, I guess he's best known for his voice of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I think those are the two most famous characters he's voiced. Um, the next closest would probably be Pete. Um, he's all, he also was the singing voice of Powhatan from the... Uh, Disney Pocahontas movie. He was the singing voice for um, for Rasputin in uh, in Anastasia. He was Ed in uh, in the Lion King, the original Lion King, um, and he also sang half of "Be Prepared," one of you know one of it, a lot of people's favorite Disney songs. He sang half of it because apparently Jeremy Irons' voice was getting like worn out. He couldn't sing the rest. So Jim just tagged in and did it, and honestly, I learned about this, like, when I was, I think I was, like, 26, 27, and I still don't believe it, because I watched that movie, I'm like, I can't tell. Um, you know, he, he also voiced Darkwing Duck, uh, I really should have wore my Darkwing Duck shirt. <laughs> um, he voiced Fat Cat from the Rescue Rangers, he, vo he also voiced um, Monterey Jack from the Rescue Rangers. Um, he was Humphrey the Bear. Uh, he did a lot of Disney stuff. Uh, Jim did a lot of Disney. Did a lot of Disney stuff, and well, why shouldn't he? Oh, I um, also want to point out, um, so Jim Cummings is the voice of Pete. Rob Paulson, who's also on this list, who also was on this list, he's the voice of PJ. So, you know, he's the one who says, Max, if if my dad finds out what I did, did he's gonna squash me like a bug. Um, it it's um, it's funny how a lot of people. I'm pretty sure, like at some point, every person on this list has worked with the other person. Uh, like voice actors seem to be very tightly knit. Um, for that. Oh my gosh, yeah, Jim Cummings is um. Is pretty pretty is a pretty phenomenal voice actor and oh my and you know he also voiced Blue recently um, in uh, they did the hundred year anniversary short uh, he was Blue the bear did a pretty good I thought he did a pretty good job with that but yeah before I go on geeking out number two is Jim Cummings. Okay, so number one. This one was, like, hands down for me. 
Number one is the legendary Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc, if you've never heard of him, first of all, look him up. <laughs> because I can only name like a small sliver of who he voiced. Even if I looked up his filmography right now, I could probably only list a couple. But he voiced like pretty much the entire Looney Tunes cast. So he was like the original Bugs Bunny, the original Daffy, the original Yosemite Sam. He was, um, you know, he was Mr. Spacely from the Jetsons. Uh, he was, I believe, Barney, Ru yeah, he was Barney Rubble in a couple stuff. Um, Pepe Le Pew. Uh, yeah, Porky, Porky Pig was like the first kind of the first voice because he was the first Looney Tune. It's just Bugs is the most famous one out of all of them, but Porky was the first. Yep, he was Barney Rubble, Captain Caveman. I mean, a lot of people have probably seen like a couple of these cartoons at least once. Um, Mel Blanc truly was a legendary voice actor. I mean, this is probably one of the people that... Um, Mel and Jim are probably the two people that a lot of voice actors aspire to be like uh, when they when we think about voice acting. P two people who can change their voice and um, in such a distinctive way that you will not be able to tell if that person is in that project until you look up the cast. I mean, what he did in the field of animation for in terms of voice acting was truly legendary uh, you know um it's it's just a wonderful thing each each one of the uh the voice actors i put on this list are wonderfully talented and there's so many more and this is only like a small fraction of voice actors they're very wonderful there there's so many voice actors out there that are very wonderfully talented and uh Sadly, unfortunately to, to me, I feel like we're just trying to get big name celebrities who only will do their voice for voicing characters. And there is some negative uh, reception behind that. I mean, uh, we got, I hate to bash on Chris again, but, you know, of course we have another Chris Pratt led where he's just going to be voicing Chris Pratt and Garfield. Another, but since I'm kind of, you know, bashing a little bit of him, I'm like, Seth Rogen is also one of these kind of criminals who, who, to me, in the voice acting world, they take a, the, uh, but all in all, yeah, number one, Mel Blanc. So, there you go, there's my top ten voice actors list, and to continue my little rant, um, yeah, I did this because I feel like a voice, uh, a voice actor is a dying profession, um, in my opinion. I understand that there's a lot of people who are doing a good job and trying to bring characters to life by trying different voices and, and seeing what this character will sound like. But, um, you know, like I said, Seth Rogen is another, another famous actor who really is just famous for voicing him. Um, and if you think, hey, no, Kevin, you're wrong, you know, he's not. I'm like, they did a joke about it in the Rescue Rangers movie where all of Seth Rogen's characters are standing around like I think it's like the main villain and they're all talking they're all sounding like him they got that stupid laugh going down and you know when an when an actor would voice a character that was very rare but even back in the day of um when voice acting was really starting to start start off when they were doing sound cartoons because it just like a lot of movies cartoons used to be uh silent uh when they started adding sound and dialogue and lines um there were people who were doing voices yeah you got your you got people like edwin um but that you know his natural voice was pretty funny so um but you know i just i just hope that uh some of the the more like, we get more people like Eric coming out as voice actors who um, will who will learn to modulate their voice so that way we can get characters that, you know, that 
other generations of people can see as like iconic characters. These are a lot of voice actors who voiced a lot of kids from when I was a kid. Uh, voiced a lot of characters from when I was a kid. <laughs> Only Tara Strong voiced a lot of kids. <laughs> um, but um, you know, I just if you're if you're a, if you're a new voice actor uh, and you're trying to get into the world of voice acting, I wish you all the luck, and I cannot wait to add you to my top ten favorite voice actors list. Um, of course, this list will probably change, and this there's way more than just ten voice actors I like. There's a there are so many. Um, but these were just the ones that really made an impact to me on my life um, as as a kid and even as an adult. Um, but that being said, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to be notified for uh, top tens lists uh, just like this one. We do have one coming out. Uh, we do have one every month. Uh, so this was the one for May. We got one coming in in June, and then Jordan will do her birthday list. I don't know what she's picked yet. Um, but if you're a, eh, well, if you're a big fan of the channel as a whole, consider becoming a Patreon supporter on our Patreon page. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month, um, which unlocks you special perks like early access to how to play videos. Unfortunately, not like this one. This is a top 10 list. So, um, so, uh, but you can check out all of our cool how to play videos that are already there. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And let me know in the comments below who were voice actors who voiced characters that made a big impact on your life. Um, it could be someone from like maybe like adult animation like The Simpsons, Rick and Morty, Family Guy. Um, or it can be something from your childhood like, you know, Freakazoid. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even get some, some of the uh, actors uh, from that in there. Um, but you know, just let me know. I'd love to hear your, uh, your opinions and your comments, uh, down below. Let's get a conversation going. Be on the lookout for my next top tens list, but until then, thanks for the views.